Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our mnemonics play. Today, we'll talk about essential tremors, and I'll help you memorize them using a mnemonic. We have many essentials in medicine. We have essential amino acids, essential fatty acids, essential hypertension, which is idiopathic. Translation, we are idiots, and we cannot figure out the pathology. Idiopathic. Same thing here. What's the cause of essential tremors? Unknown. That's why we call it essential. In the good old days, we called it functional. Also remember that all vitamins are essential, which means your body cannot make them. Therefore, you need to eat them in your diet. Now let's get started. Please watch the other videos in my mnemonics playlist. I have genetics, I have pharmacology, I have pathology, you name it. There are three famous types of tremors that you need to know. Of course, the actual number is way more than this, but you need to just remember three for your exam. There is resting tremor, such as Parkinson. There is the intention tremors, like cerebellar tremors. And we have essential tremors. I've no clue why. I've no idea whether this is coming from the basal ganglia, from the cerebellum. No one knows why. Parkinson tremor is a resting tremor, which means when I'm resting, doing nothing, the tremor is worse. I am feeling it. However, as I intend to move my hand and actually move it to grab something, the tremor disappears. That's amazing. Cerebellar tremor is an intention tremor, which means the tremor will occur during intention, but it will disappear when I'm resting and doing nothing. Essential tremors will get better with alcohol or beta blockers. They get worse with caffeine or anxiety. And now to the mnemonic. Let's go. Essential tremors. You just write down A, B, funny, C, D, and E. And then two thumbs up, followed by two thumbs down. And then before we go, let's end on a positive note and add a thumbs up. First thumbs up. Alcohol can improve essential tremors. Second thumbs up, beta blockers like propranolol can improve essential tremors. Three, caffeine makes these tremors worse, which actually makes sense if you think about it. Tremors could mean that your nervous system is active, or you can say overly active, so to speak. Alcohol is a known sedative and hypnotic. It causes hypnosis. It makes your brain lazy. It inhibits your brain. So it inhibits the brain activity, i.e. inhibits the tremor. Beta blockers inhibit the sympathetic nervous system, so you become less nervous, which means less tremors. Caffeine, on the other hand, is anti-adenosine. What's the function of adenosine in my brain? Adenosine wants you to calm down and be lazy and tired. But caffeine will say to adenosine, not today. Caffeine will inhibit adenosine receptor and caffeine will make you wake up. Not just you, but your tremor as well, which makes perfect sense. How can we diagnose essential tremor? Well, it's a clinical diagnosis. Based on the patient's history, triggering factors, relieving factors. And on physical exam, ask the patient to stand up with the hands stretched out. You'll find that the tremor gets worse. That's why here's a thumbs down. The last one is essential tremors might respond to the anti-epileptic drug known as primidone. Again, it makes perfect sense. It's anti-epileptic. It wants to decrease brain activity. It wants your brain to calm down and it wants your tremor to calm down as well. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Please pause and review. Primidone is anti-epileptic. To learn more about other anti-epileptic medications and neuropharmacology, download my CNS Pharmacology course on my website medicosisperfectsnandis.com. Besides Parkinson's and cerebellar disease, you know what else can lead to tremors? Answer, copper overdose. And you can learn about this in my toxicology course. Why is there a penny here? Because copper overdose can be treated with penicillamine. Please do not confuse a tremor with a contracture, like this Volkmann contracture that can be seen in compartment syndrome of the limb. You can learn about all the compartment syndromes by downloading my 
Surgery High Yields course. I have more than 12 premium courses on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. We'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense.